Hey everybody, how's it going? So last year I did a piece with Luther Abel at National Review. He did an interview and he had a lot of good questions that he asked about right to repair and he had some challenges for me and it, it was a good piece. I all really appreciated that he never added on to what I was saying or made it sound like I was saying something that I didn't. Because from time to time, I'll you know, do interviews with people in the media, and I'll see the piece afterwards, and there'll be these small things added in that are not fully accurate or what I said, but it won't be enough for me to bother emailing them. Sometimes it will be, and I'll have to say, hey, that's not what I said, or hey, this is, I know you, you, you may think that, or you may have kind of added that on there, but that part's not true, that's extra, and you really shouldn't be there. And sometimes they'll just get the entire story wrong, or there'll be a piece of evidence that they're missing, and in spite of being very interested in hearing what I have to say, up to the point that the story doesn't fit their narrative, they will no longer even respond to me if I send them something that doesn't fit the narrative of their story. And I went over that in a video two years ago. What I really appreciated about Luther at National Review is he didn't twist any of what I said. He didn't add anything extra. He just had really good questions and he did a lot of research. This year he wanted to cover right to repair again. And instead of just copying and pasting what everybody else is saying about it, he had a 30 minute conversation with me. I gave him some sources for what I was saying. And he actually called up those sources and had a lengthy conversation with them so that his piece would be accurate. And you could tell that Blackberry is happy about that too because she's meowing in the background. And I got this card in the mail the other day that I just want to say thank you for. It says, Dear Mr. Rossman, thank you very much for your time speaking with me about right to repair. Your expertise in the subject was much appreciated and helpful in getting me up to speed on the latest developments. Grateful, Luther Ravel. There's actually a handwritten card that he mailed me to thank me for speaking with him and giving him some sources. And those sources are most likely going to be part of a future story. And those conversations that he had with those sources were fairly productive. I really wish I could say who they were at this point in time, but I do not want to give the lobbyists that are most likely wondering how I'm, where I'm going to get started spending this money any time to know where I'm starting. And I, I'd rather, for once in Right to Repair, be ahead rather than chasing somebody else. So I'm not going to say who just yet. You have to wait for the article. I really appreciated this. I appreciate his brand of journalism, and I just want to highlight when this kind of stuff happens. Similar to the article that Napoleon did back around April or May, he did an amazing piece, and I'll link it down below. When you find journalists like that that don't just copy and paste the existing narrative, but really, really dig in to understand the nuance of it and post something that is 100% factually accurate, I really do appreciate that. And I just think that that should be pointed out in a time when most people are just copying and pasting what everybody else has to say about a subject so that they can get their piece out faster than everybody else. So thank you very much to Luther at National Review. I really appreciate your card, and uh, yeah. Best of luck to you and your journalistic efforts in the future.